You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host. I have here with me Donna Costa from Christ Congregational Church. Yes, sir. On Pleasant Street. Nice to see you, Donna. Nice to meet you again. Good to see you. You do good work. Your 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 church is a wonderful community partner. Mm -hmm. They used to be our neighbor right. back in the day before you built the new church. Right. And we miss you next door. <laughs> I live around the corner from there, so you're not too far mm -hmm. away. And it's a beautiful sanctuary mm -hmm. and the acoustics are really nice. And within the church is a beautiful pipe organ. Yes, there is. Okay, but those cost money to maintain. Yes, they do. Um, and it's kind of an art and a science. Mm -hmm. So in order to maintain them properly, you do con you have concerts mm -hmm. done there. Mm -hmm. And money that people chip in for donations goes to repairing, maintaining the organ, correct? Well, beyond that, um, when the uh, new building was built in 1995, the pipe organ was designed for that space. So mm -hmm. as you said, the acoustics are wonderful in the sanctuary and the, and the organ was designed for that space. With the fundraising that went on, on the building fund, there was not sufficient funds to complete the organ, we say. Okay. So without being too technical, um, a pipe organ has different divisions. And the three divisions that our organ has right now are called the grate, the swell, and the pedals, mm -hmm. the ones that the folks play with their feet. And there's another division that was designed for that organ called the choir. Okay. So the congregation wasn't able to meet the goal for everything to be done at once, so they put off finishing the organ. So it's kind of like having an orchestra mm -hmm. that has three quarters of the players there okay. and one quarter are missing. Hmm. So our goal has been to raise the funds to finish what's called this choir division, uh, which would add about another 600 pipes. Oh, wow. So it is a major undertaking, and um, the concerts that we have that we charge admission for, um, donations are going to an organ fund, a specific organ fund, that will help to build that choir division and have the organ be finished. I didn't know I was going to get a whole education in the organ today. I appreciate well, that. Well, it gets kind of technical, and, and people have trouble understanding because an organ's different than a lot of other instruments. So. Well, I, it's beautiful. I always take a shot of it whenever I'm there covering one of the events. Mm -hmm. um, now, you do uh, smaller concerts midweek, uh, like at 12.15 on a Wednesday. Right. This is a bigger one. This right. is all the way, we're talking March 18th. March 18th, So we're going right. to promote this all the way up through the day before. Yes, great. Okay. Um, we'll be there, but you have to go. It, it's one thing to see it on TV. Yes. It's another thing to experience it. Because it's magnificent, yep. I believe. Yep, it okay? is. And like I said, the acoustics in there are great. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the person that's playing, I don't know, I'm not sure how to say her name. Krista Rakich. Okay. Rakich. And um, she um, is a wonderful concert organist. She um, had a Fulbright scholarship to study in Europe. Mm -hmm. She was there for a couple of years, came back to the States, and... Uh, taught at New England Conservatory for oh, quite nice. a while. Mm -hmm. And she worked with another organist, um, and a, another man who pl also plays the harpsichord, uh, who was our guest organist last year for the Bach event. And the two of them recorded everything that Johann Sebastian Bach ever wrote for the organ mm. over like a three-year period. Nice. And so she's really considered um, a specialist in Bach music. And so in our March... Much concert. This will be the third one. We call it a Bach birthday bash because um, J.S. Bach's birthday was sometime in March. They're not sure exactly what the date was. We'll say it was the 18th. <laughs> and there's the intrepid brass quintet right, that's right. going to be joining her. Yes. Um, and it's not a big price. Usually you go to concerts, oh. you can pay lots and lots and lots of money for right. popular artists and everything. It's $15 for adults, $10 for seniors and students. Um, AGO members are half price. What's uh, AGO? AGO is the American Guild of Organists. Okay. So you happen to get a flyer that had that on it. We haven't posted that everywhere. Okay. But um, we really like to encourage other organists to come, and it's kind of a busman's holiday, mm -hmm. you know, to go to a concert and listen to someone else play. So uh, we want to encourage them to come, so we're giving them a half price. And children are free. And at the Council on Aging, there are complimentary tickets available. That's nice. A limited number, okay. but if there's too much demand, we'll give them more. That sounds yep. good. What's the capacity of the church? Oh, my goodness. It's, it's pretty big. I, I go there for symphony, for jubilate, for all of your concerts. I'm guessing at least 400. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really nice. And Christ Congregational Church is 1350 Pleasant Street. It's right at the tip of Brockton. Mm -hmm. 
almost to the Eastern Line. It turns into Union Street and Eastern. It's over near Sum Sumner, St Sumner Street, which was where the old Goddard Hospital is. And it is handicapped accessibility. There's parking in the rear, rear of the building. There's always good refreshments there. Yes, There's we're going to have birthday cake. We always have birthday cake for this event. Okay, and, and <laughs> Mr. Bach can't have it because he's not with us. But every, <laughs> and you are funded. This is funded through the Mass Cultural Council. Yes, Council. we do receive small grants from that, and that helps us pay for our musicians. Which is which is really nice. It's it's, it's it's a good event. About you know like hour and a half. Hour and a half. Yeah, ninety yep. minutes. And okay. And then the refreshments. Okay. So for more information for tickets, who would they get? Well, the with? best thing to do is just to get the tickets at the door. There's plenty of tickets, and there's no uh, advance sale special price. Okay. Um, if people are interested, there is an email address um, which you can state and Oregon, put on the screen. O R G A N yep. at Brockton U C C, which is United Church of Christ. Org. Right. And the phone number over at the church, 508-586-3022. Um, and you can, you know, it's nice that you can get at the door because sometimes people don't know what they're doing and they want to just do something That's in right. the afternoon. I think personally, you know, kids, kids like music That's and right. kids don't get a chance to really hear a pipe no, organ no. very much. I did not know until now about the four different divisions. Mm -hmm. So that was my trivia mm -hmm. question of the day. Excellent. So now I can now I can play trivia when it comes to musical <laughs> instruments. Donna, what's your involvement? How are you involved? You're always promoting this this Facebook, this Gmail. I get all the uh, we great at telling us. We work us hard. About we work hard. Um, well, uh, a couple of years ago, a committee was formed to work specifically on raising funds to finish the organ and to create a designated organ fund. The feeling was that um, lots of times when capital campaigns are done, there's so many needs mm -hmm. in an organization, a new, a new roof, a new parking lot, a new floor. Sure. And it's easy for the artistic component to kind of get swept aside. It's not as much as a necessity. And people who've been part of the congregation since that building was built, many of them really want to see the organ finished the way it was designed. So a special fund was created and a committee was formed and I'm the chair of that committee. So go. that's why I'm promoting it all the time. What does something like this cost? Is it Our goal yeah. for, the, um, for the choir division is $160,000. Mm -hmm. And I was telling you off air before we started taping, I go up to Maine in the summer and there's a pipe organ there. And not only do they have to do the pipe organ, but the steeple took a hit mm -hmm. at one point and they had to deal with the steeple up there. It's a small church, very few members, but people come from far and wide. Right. You read in Maine in the weekly paper, it's like all the church suppers and, mm -hmm. and potlucks and things like that. And I mean, there's not a lot to do in that particular town, but right. you can go to church right. and you can hear the beautiful music. And uh, that one has stained glass. It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cool church up mm -hmm. there, but so is this one. I love how they design this Oh, it's a beautiful space. The way it's, it's so light, it's so bright. It's a lot of natural light. And um, everybody, many folks who walk in and have never been inside before, like, I'm blown away. They say, oh, this is just so beautiful. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm just going to recap real yep. briefly. Thank you for being here. The Bach Birthday Bash is on Sunday, March 18th at 3 o'clock at Christ Congregational Church, 1350 Pleasant Street. Um, you'll get a chance to hear an organist and a brass quintet, all for a very low price. So be there or be square. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.